Well, look, we're going to have to work together to, to solve the problems we're facing. That's part of what we're talking about on this campaign. That's why uh, the slogan is uh, Stronger Together. A lot of Americans are still very frustrated. This economy isn't working for everybody. Um, and we've got to get more jobs created. Uh, you know, we've got to get our, our tax code uh, figured out, both from uh, the standpoint of fairness, but also uh, because we want a tax code that, that promotes job growth, that promotes more businesses uh, here at home. Look, the reason I touch on what Donald Trump said and the reason it is absolutely relevant to this conversation is he's a divisive figure who's going to be an impediment to solving some of these problems that we're talking about right now. It's not, uh, it just makes no sense for the next leader of our country to be running around saying that he's smart uh, because he didn't pay taxes. Uh, what does that say about the rest of us who work really hard and pay our taxes or, you know, small businesses uh, that pay theirs? Um, so I, I think, you know, it'll be interesting Robbie, to see what Mike Pence has to say about this at the vice presidential debate tonight. Robbie, but isn't the issue ultimately, assuming that, that what took place was legal and we have no information that suggests it isn't, isn't the conversation that should be happening around policy and how to fix the tax policy to the extent that you believe that uh, losses shouldn't be carried forward or whatever, whatever we all think about the tax code, shouldn't that be the focus of what's happening here? Well, I'm really glad you asked that question. I, I completely agree with that. Um, first of all, I, I don't think anybody can test the fact that Secretary Clinton and, and Senator Kane, he's going to be in the debate tonight, have put out very detailed plans about how we create jobs, how we get this economy working better for everyday people, for our small businesses, how we provide them uh, the relief uh, that they need. Donald Trump has put out no uh, specific plans. But, well, uh, but I, to I directly to your when question. I look at the, when I look at the tax plans from each candidate, I, I have a hard time finding specifics on a lot of these issues. I, I mean, what's the corporate tax rate? that Hillary Clinton thinks is the best rate. Do we continue at 35% well, or do uh, well, we cut it? I mean, well, even, even I, I President think there's Obama broad has agreement across both parties. Oh, I'm sorry? Even President Obama has said 28%. Uh, Bill Clinton told me himself that he thinks it should be lower than where it is right now. Where does Hillary Clinton think it should be? Well, I think there's broad consensus uh, that a lot of people would like to lower it. Um, but the fact of the matter is there are a lot of loopholes that are in the way uh, of doing that right now. And the system is very uneven uh, depending on a variety of different factors. And that's the result of, you know, different people lobbying to get uh, different loopholes in. But, but, to the, but to the previous question, the real issue here with Donald Trump is it's not okay to say in a cavalier way that it's smart not to pay your taxes. For, for our president but, of the United but, States but, but to Robbie, be saying that, it, Robbie, it, it any, completely any of... uh, contaminates this whole conversation. Robbie. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.